G'day people, I'm Monster Dad, and welcome back to our 9.2. Um, I, I was going to say let's play there, but <laughs> it's not quite that at the moment for reasons I'll tell you in just a moment. We're having some major bugs with, <coughs> excuse me, portable constructors. I'm not going to ch attempt to open that at the moment because it'll probably crash the game. Uh, but yeah, real big problem because all my uh, materials for making things are in these and I can't do anything until I access them absolutely nothing at all but in the meantime I was hoping to introduce you to Bob our little slime friend but he seems to have disappeared today I don't know why every time I've come into the game between the last two episodes he's been here burping and farting and generally making some disgusting sounds but you know we came to a bit of an agreement after we had a first couple of fights and we leave each other alone now but yeah, he seems to have disappeared. Bless him. Oh well, never mind. Anyway, I can't actually do an episode, a full episode at the moment, because of this this bug. I, I have reported it, and they did say it was a known issue, and it's going to be fixed. So I, I fully expect it to be fixed, probably within the next 24 hours or so. <clears throat> One thing about Elyon, they are pretty quick at fixing bugs, especially when they affect, uh, the, the or seriously affect the gameplay. But what I did want to do is use this opportunity to clarify something, in particular about cargo boxes. Um, I've had a couple of comments saying that part of the problem I was having with the, the HV is because I'm using the old cargo boxes and not the new cargo control or the cargo extensions. Um, I can assure you all that that is not the case. It makes no difference whatsoever which cargo boxes you use and I will demonstrate that now so here's some repaired earlier as the saying goes um, so what I'm going to do first is add another cargo box on just to sort of duplicate in fact no I'm going to put it here I'll do a little comparison first I'll put the, the half cargo box first so <coughs> if we look at our devices and just sort them. Boom. You'll see this cargo box, if you access it, 125 volume down the bottom. And that's a single, like a half cargo box. The other two cargo boxes, 250, because they're like a double cargo box. Um, what I'm going to do is take this one off, put it back on as a double, and then fill them up. Boom. Okay, so that's the kind of configuration we had initially. Three, three of the old cargo boxes, 250 volume in each, and when we filled them up, we just couldn't move. Um, so I'm going to fill those up now. So I should be able to access. Yeah, good. HV cargo box one. Let's fill that up. That one. Let's fill that up. On that one, what should we put in there? Um, we get that in? No. Uh, uh, there, it's full. Okay, so all three are now full. Let's get in, see if this thing moves. So let's take it out of idle. Another look. And I can barely lift it off the ground. I'm going to turn it back into idle there before it. Uh, falls away into the water. So as you can see there Huge problems with those three cargo boxes when they are full <coughs> Even with some basic stuff like blocks, so let's Empty those three Which one was it? That one. Okay, get rid of them So all in total we had 750 cargo space, the three boxes 250 each. So what I'm going to do now is add the equivalent in the new cargo controller. So we'll put a cargo controller there and then the cargo extension boxes need to be attached. So that one, what we've got there at the moment is an identical size to the old cargo box. So if we look at that presently. It's 250 so visually it's the same size 
as one of the old cargo boxes when you put the large one on and it's exactly the same amount of size now each one of these adds 125 so again that's the equivalent size of another one of the old cargo boxes that's another 250 and same again so <coughs> excuse me visually we have an identical set up to three of the old cargo boxes in here we only need to access one cargo box which is which is a nice convenience with a new system and as you can see there it's 750 with the volume so if we go into our base and pop basically the same stuff in there it is full up again so with identical things that we had between the three cargo boxes and the other and the other one so let's get in and see if it makes a slight bit of difference I know the result personally but I just want to, to sort of test it and show it on camera so we'll look at it this way so again exactly the same thing happens it can barely get off the ground with this configuration um, so I can assure you the type of cargo box makes no difference whatsoever whether it's one of the new type or one of the old type um, the cargo extensions make no difference to the issue that the hover vehicle engines are not strong enough to move a hover vehicle when the, even just a few cargo boxes are full and and that is probably for me the biggest issue at the moment with the logistics system I'm aware of the maths behind it um, unfortunately for me that's irrelevant you know you can apply all the real life maths you want to configure this type of thing but we're talking about a sci-fi game um, you know do something else make it work real life maths is killing HV and SV use at this moment in this game <coughs> and and that's what matters more than anything so yeah I just thought I'd use this episode 3 not to whinge and apologies for all the whinging I did in the last episode I was getting very frustrated with with the, the hover vessel um, you know this is the kind of basic hover vessel you build early game and quite frankly if you look at what's 52 concrete blocks, a couple of, you know, it's, it, there's hardly anything, a bit of fuel and a few blocks. It, it's rendering HVs unusable, in my opinion, um, in the current state that the logistics is in with regards to HVs. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, and I've, I've fed that back to, to Elion, um, and I've noticed other people have as well. And hopefully that'll get changed. They'll work something out to to make this work. Um, my feeling is it's the the prob the biggest problem is the hover engines and the thrusters are just too weak. Um, they need to be drastically overhauled, and the the power of them increased drastically so that we can move these vehicles. If you know, if you can get thirty two, I think it's thirty two thousand. Um, with the extensions onto a hover vessel in volume. Now I did a bit of testing off camera and by my figuring uh, I did a test with a, a vehicle that had 2000 capacity and I had to put five of the, the the highest level, highest tier thrusters, the jet thrusters on the rear of it just to move it. Now so by that reckoning if you times 2,000 by about 15, you'll get around about 30,000. You would need to times those jet thrusters on the rear of a hover vessel by 15. And then it depends on the weight of the stuff that you put, the actual mass of the stuff you're putting into the, the, the um, cargo boxes because the volume is one aspect, the mass of something is another. Now you can put a similar volume to what we've got there but if you put things that have a higher mass you can go up to so at the moment um, in the HV the volume is 750 and the mass is 128 tons um, that's quite large actually for that particular area 
but with 2000 capacity I could fit 999 oars um, and it was just a couple of tons so you could move it quite easily with five thrusters with just oars but you start adding things like blocks and heavier things that that mass goes up drastically by you know ten times the amount and that's where you have the problem so if you're doing some general loot and what I know how I test it I I looted three um, alien rare containers so some just general random loot that you would find in those mixture of blocks um, vehicle parts armor things like that weapons and it was um, I, I filled it up to 2000 volume and it was about 117 tons and I could not move it with five jet thrusters. Um, the larger hover engines worked fine. I had four of them on there and I could get it off the ground no problem but I couldn't move it um, any effectively at all. So by my reckoning times that by 15 depending on the weight of the the materials you put into your your 32,000 volume you would need a HV with something along the lines of 70 to 100 of the jet thrusters on the rear of the HV alone just to move it. And that's not taking into consideration the thrust you need on the sides to stop it from slipping down the side of an incline or something and also the thrust you need on the front to stop it when you, you get to your destination. So you're looking at probably 200 jet thrusters on a HV if you maxed out these extensions and then filled it with cargo. Um, sorry Elion, but that is ludicrous. Utterly ludicrous. Um, this needs to be changed because it is killing the use of HVs and SVs. Um, yeah, so that's my kind of unofficial opinion on this one. <laughs> So I'll call that episode there. It's a very short episode. Unfortunately, I can't do the gameplay, and I'll just show you this just at the end here. The game might crash. If it does, thank you very much for watching. I'm Monster Dad. If not, if I could save it, I'll say goodbye again. So we try and access portable containers. Um, <coughs> sorry, portable constructors. And you get an exception error. Let's continue, because <laughs> there we go. I can access it now. It shows up top left as an advanced constructor, and you need an input and an output for it, and then it comes up with the exception error again. Um, you can press continue, quit and mail, mail and continue all you want, but you cannot get out of that screen unless you time it. So, you know, there we go. Yeah, and I've got out. Okay. So, yeah, they know that one is fixed. They are fixing it, but all my resources are in these two portal constructors at the moment. So, I can't get anywhere with the game until that's been fixed. Um, so, there we go. I'm going to sleep. Is Bob back? Oh, he's over there. Look. What are you doing over there, Bob? He's stuck to the side of the hill. <laughs> well, that's not too bad because it honestly he smells and he, his sounds he makes are just disgusting. Really disgusting. So you stay over there, Bob. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you do have any of your own issues that you've found with the logistics system, please put them in the comments. If you disagree with anything I said, please put them in the comments you know it's good to have a good discussion about things like this really helpful um, and I will see you in the next episode when hopefully these portable structures will be fixed um, and I do have an idea for a design for a HV mining vessel with this logistics system I have tested one and it worked to a degree and I want to try and get that into um, this game in the next couple of episodes as well so until then Bye for now.